Most of us expect a salary increase when changing jobs, for internal moves and certainly for external job changes. Moving companies to start a new job does take effort. I mean, first of all, you have to get through the CV stage and then pass all those interviews. And then when you do start, you have a ton of stuff to learn. Is that effort worth it? A salary increase when changing jobs, hopefully not the only reason you're moving, does help to compensate for all that extra effort put in. I will share the headline average shortly and what is a typical range for what salary increase to expect when changing jobs. I was surprised that when I dug into the detail and started going through the Office for National Statistics data, the average hides actually a big range, which is definitely not all good news. Some of you will be better off staying in your current job from a pay perspective and others will be much better off changing jobs. Keep watching to find out more. And then towards the end of the video, I share negotiation tips that I have found to work really well to maximize your overall salary increase when you are changing jobs. My name is Jess Coles and I've had a 25 year management career in corporates and household names all the way through to SMEs. I changed jobs by moving companies eight times in 19 years, gaining promotions for most of those moves and pay rises to go with them. I also received promotions and pay rises in between changing companies and I will share my history on how I got on with my external job changes. And if you're new to this channel, Enhanced.Training shares business and people management expertise to help you improve your performance and that of your team and business. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So what salary increase to expect when changing jobs? The average headline rate is 14.8% for external job changes and a fairly typical expectation of those changing jobs is to get a salary increase of between 10% and 20%. And there are plenty of people getting these salary increases when changing jobs. For those that are planning to stay put, then the average salary increase in early 2022 in the UK is around 5%. And this sounds great compared to the much lower salary increases of the last 10 years or so. Yet, but when you consider inflation, which is actually higher than this, you are in effect losing salary value by staying put for the moment. Inflation, of course, will continue to change up as well as down. And this chart shows the salary increases for those staying put and those changing companies and jobs over the last 10 years. Those changing jobs by moving companies consistently get a higher pay increase on average than those staying put. Being loyal to your employer does not reward you in terms of salary increases. This is pretty similar to so many other examples in everyday life. You know, think about utility suppliers or um, you know, membership clubs, etc. The best deals go to attract new people or customers. With jobs, it is usually the same. You get a better salary when you change jobs. Now onto the worrying part of what salary increase to expect when changing jobs. The 4.8% average salary increase when changing jobs hides a very different picture depending on how well you do your job, i.e. are you good at adding value to the company through your job or not so good at this. For those in the bottom quartile in terms of their performance, they typically have a pay reduction when changing jobs. This compares to a pay increase for the bottom quartile performers that stay in the same company. So if you're not average or above in terms of performance, chances are you will be better off staying at the company you currently work at. This is good news for those in this position and bad news for the managers and employers of those same people. Employee performance will always be a significant management challenge. If you are in the top quartile in performance terms, then the salary increase to expect when changing jobs has been consistently above 25% for nearly 20 years. And this compares to a salary increase if you stay put of around 10%, which is under half. So if you are a top performer, changing jobs gives you a significant increase in salary. This is great news for those top performers thinking of moving companies to change job and really bad news for their managers and current employers. I mean, it's hard enough to find and attract top talent. It seems fairly short-sighted not to pay your top performers enough to keep them when the success of your business is going to depend much more heavily on having enough top performers in your business. Politics, HR and other policies don't favour keeping top performers. So when thinking about what salary increase to expect when changing jobs, does my experience stack up against all the statistics we've just been through?
I went through all my job moves and looked at the gross salaries of each job I held before and then also after each external job change. My average increase in gross salary was 12.7% with each change of job, moving from graduate trainee through to board director. So this compares pretty well to that 14.8% for the overall average salary increase when changing jobs. And from my personal experience, when below and in middle management ranks, your gross salary remains a major source or the major source of your overall remuneration. As you head into and through the middle management ranks, and certainly as you get into the senior management ranks, bonuses, share options and other forms of remuneration become a bigger proportion of your overall package. Looking at this table of bonuses, as a percentage of gross salary, an entry-level professional might have a bonus 10 times smaller than that of a director, you know, 4% versus 40%. As I got increasingly senior in organisations, I started concentrating on negotiating a bigger upside based on my performance. This approach is great if you are in that top quartile of performers. So let's go through a few negotiation tips to increase your overall remuneration when you are changing jobs. My first tip is to do your research and collect salary examples of other comparable jobs. Know what you're worth in the market in terms of gross salary, bonus and other benefits. And be realistic in where you sit in performance terms. Are you, are you average, good, very good, etc. Performance perception does impact what a company is willing to pay you. My second tip is to always ensure that you pursue multiple job opportunities. You might have another offer or you might be confident in getting another offer. This puts you in a confident position. I mean, after all, the company wants you and if you are clear on the value you can provide, then within reason, you should get what you want. Don't accept less. I mean, after all, why should you? You can go and get another job. My third tip is to negotiate a higher bonus percentage or share options, etc. those variable parts of the salary when changing jobs, which increases your upside. I've found that hiring managers are much more reluctant to increase gross salaries, but getting an increase in your discretionary bonus, for example, is a lot easier. Try to negotiate a significant increase from what the advertised rate is. You know, if it's 10%, you could try and go for 20%, for instance and negotiate a success criteria alongside this if you're able to. Clear success criteria make an increased bonus or variable pay a good deal for you and the company. Make the bonus or variable pay increase worthwhile to you. My fourth tip, negotiate on all the other benefits, you know, your pension, healthcare, car, holidays, hours, etc. I knew an HR director who would apply for standard five day a week jobs and then at offer stage negotiate a four day week instead. She nearly always got the job she wanted. Negotiate what will make a difference to you. So in summary, what salary increase to expect when changing jobs, the average pay increase when moving companies is around 15%. This hides a massive range from 30% plus at the top to a negative 5% at the bottom. So be clear where you sit in performance rankings for your current role. And moving jobs regularly, providing you get a promotion with your move, is likely to move your career forward faster. Saying that, I have friends that have stayed with the same large company all their working lives and have also done really well. So think carefully about your situation before you move and do what is best for you. Please let me know what salary increase you would expect when moving jobs by leaving a comment below. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.